Once in every decade, a motion picture is produced, destined to become one of the greatest classics of American cinema. In the 50s, it was teenage cookies. In the 60s, it was wet cheerleaders. The 70s brought wild gooseberries. And now the 80s bring to the silver screen the greatest classic of all time. The Amero Brothers production of Blonde Ambition. Not since a star is born has there been a film that exposes the heartbreaking lives of show business. Blonde Ambition is a devastating portrayal of the famous Kane sisters' meteoric rise to stardom. From the early suffering days, the Kane sisters worked diligently at perfecting their craft. Bottle buffalo piss, please. They studied singing. Dancing. Played various musical instruments. Hours of vocal exercises. Body mirror. Oh, what was that noise? That was applause, honey. Your jet? Yes. Are you terribly impressed? Yes. Good. It was talent and the belief that one never had to compromise one's art that helped the Kane sisters rise to the top of the ladder. What else do they do? Dig for gold? In New York, sugar and candy were accorded a stupendous ah! welcome. I've got a warrant here for your arrest. You want your tit shot off? Fire. Recognizing genuine talent, the major studios fought for their favor, culminating in starring roles in a remake of Gone with the Wind. This is all your fault. I wanted to go to the opera. As superstars, society sought their attention. Long ambition stars such sensations as Susie Mandel. Oh, shit. Dory Devon. You asshole. Eric Edwards. Molly Malone. Leave them! Wade Parker. Jamie Gillis. Man. And others too fabulous to mention. If you liked Deep Throat and Singing in the Rain, you're gonna love Blonde Ambition.